All right, guys, welcome to this R tip. It's R tip 70. We're talking chat GPT and how I'm going to teach you how I made this Excel spreadsheet analyzer in about 10, 15 minutes. And please stick around to the end. I'm going to give you all the code. I'm going to show you how to get that. And plus, I'm going to give you a uh, free access to a live chat GPT for data scientists workshop that will help you even beyond what you learn in this tutorial. So let's get started here. Um, I want to show you how I made this thing in about 15 minutes. Um, I'm going to try and go through it quick though. So it only takes me probably a couple minutes to explain it. Um, first off, if you're following along, make sure you join the R tips newsletter links at the bottom and uh, you'll get access to all of these RTIPs. We're on RTIP 70, and I'm gonna be working out of this file folder here. Uh, it comes with a data set today, sales.xlsx. That's our Excel file that we will be checking out. More on that file in just a second. But um, this is the file, this is the script that I have open. It's right up here on the left. Now, let's check this out. So um, here's how this app works. Basically, if I refresh it, so let me restart it. Uh, it looks something like this, and it's got this load sample data. It comes with some sample data. Uh, and you can pick a date column, a sales column, and you can uh, vi quickly visualize that using this shiny app. It's also got this faceting column. You can pick like a category uh, and facet. And uh, But what it's designed for is to be able to have users be able to quickly pull in some sales data and be able to visualize it. And uh, you can even do like more complicated things, but I'm gonna show you how to make this here in just a couple minutes. Um, and you can pick the sales amount, any column in here, and you can pick faceting columns like product and, and so on. So how did I make this and how did I make it in 15 minutes? Well, that's a good question. And I'm gonna show you how I did that with ChatGPT. So let's dive into it. If you've never used ChatGPT before, it looks something like this. Make sure you have log into ChatGPT, have ChatGPT4, uh, selected and you can type in prompts. Um, so I could say, hey, make me a R shiny app with plotly visualization of, uh, and we'll say the MT cars data set. And uh, then you just click this little button right here and it will start thinking. And then of course it'll pull up some, it'll just basically make code for you. So you can see it's a right bunch of code here. All right, so the code is done here. I'm just gonna copy that out and I'll make a, just a, a quick new script here. Uh, th and this is, and I'll save this app here as uh, just my MT cars app here. So MT cars underscore app. And then you can stop this app and I can run this app here. And there we have uh, some, uh, a quick application that it's built for us. Okay, very cool. Um, and this is great, but how did I make a more complicated app? Well, obviously we're gonna have to do more prompts and I wanna walk you through that process, what that looks like in here. So um, this is the app that I made. All of the code is right here. Um, and if you sign up for the RTIPS newsletter, you get it. Uh, so let's start with just like the first prompt. Um, so this is what I, uh, how I kind of work this out. So inside of ChatGPT, what I said, uh, was something like this. I just created a new chat and uh, what I did was I put this first prompt in here. Start by making a shiny app that uploads user Excel files, okay? And then it just starts creating that, that code. A big mistake that uh, beginners make with ChatGPT is quickly going for like the final solution. That's not how this process works. Uh, you have to like iteratively ask things and kind of take the code and tell it where to make changes. Uh, and if you do this right, um, you will get really good results. If you don't do it right though, you're gonna get really bad results. Let's just take this fir first one. If I copy that code and I put that into the MT cars app here, control save, reload the app. And if I go to my viewer and then it'll give you something that looks like this, where you can then go into your data set and open it up and it pulls it in here. Okay. Not very impressive though. Uh, so what we got to do is we got to keep going. Uh, the next step would uh, be giving it another prompt. So what I'm doing here now is asking it to modify it further, add a way to visualize the date column automatically selected versus a value column. So let's try that one out. Okay, it looks like it's done. I'm gonna copy the code in here and I'll throw this in my empty cars app and control V and then reload the app. So save selected, reloads the app. And now let's see able to open up my Excel file. And then there I've got a plotly plot in here and I can do uh, the sales amount and, and get that. Um, the next thing, so 
uh, once we have this, uh, what we might want to do is add some sample data for the user to get started with if they don't have an Excel spreadsheet and they want to see how this works. So I put that in here. So I include a sample data for the user to get started with. Let's see what it comes up with. All right, looks like it's finished up. Copy that code, throw it here in my test app here and just replace the code. Control V, save that, reload. And now we can load some sample data, okay? And uh, if I load the sample data, I got date and value here, uh, but I don't know what that looks like. So uh, what we can do is uh, we can continue on with the prompts, uh, add, add a way for the user to preload, uh, preview the data. Okay, so put that in here and let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. Okay, so it's giving me some code. I'm gonna copy that again in my little MT cars uh, test area. I'm just gonna replace this and save that and reload the app. And now it doesn't look like it added it in. Uh, here, what we'll do is add a data table to preview the first five rows. And we can just modify that so we can get a sample of the, of the data too. Because um, that's going to be the tough part. We aren't going to know what which columns to pick unless we uh, sample the data. Okay, it looks like it's done. Let's grab this code. And I'm going to just update now the app, my empty cars play app. So let's reload this, load the sample data, and then we've got the data preview now. So it looks like it's put it on two different tabs. And if you like that, that look, I kind of like the look, um, uh, you can, you know, just stick with that. Uh, and then if I browse my data set and grab my sales data, now I can see what that sales data looks like. So I want sales data versus amount. Uh, and then that's what I want to visualize. And now I've got my amount. So I got my data preview right here. Uh, so we've already actually got prompt five, allowing them to pick the date column. When I first went through this process, they didn't include that. Um, so I'll move on to prompt six, uh, adding a optional faceting column. So this is a good one to add in. So let's see what it comes up with. All right, looks like the code's finished up. Let's check out what they're, they've given us. Again, I'm throwing it in my little play area here, which is just this uh, empty cars. I guess it's not the empty cars app anymore. Uh, let's reload this thing and see what we've got. So now I've got this optional faceting column. So if I look, take a look at my data preview, I've got a category column now. And if I look at the plot, up oh, looks like there's they're having an ish issue uh, so maybe that's because we got value in there so if i just type in so anytime you get an error like this maybe um, what you can do is you can actually just uh, copy and paste this right right into chat gpt let's just throw this in here error and let's see what it comes up with okay and it gives me this snippet here so i'm actually just going to go in here and i have to replace this plot here so let's do that Control save and it's switched over to a GG plot. So we need to make sure that we've got library GG plot two open up. So we'll control save that. And if I refresh it, now we've got this. Um, and it looks a little bit different, um, but let's see if it works here. Uh, optional faceting column category. And there we go, we've got this. Uh, there's a couple other prompts here. We can convert the ta data table. Um, we've already actually have a data table in here, so we don't. We can skip this one. Uh, we can make the table smaller so we can see it in the plot. That's actually okay um, because they put it on different tabs this time. And then make the plotly plot better appearance. So this is something I like to do. Um, and you know, see this plot? It looks kind of generic. Um, so I'm gonna type this in and see what it comes up with. Um, so I just asked it to ask ChatGPT to make the plot better appearance, reduce the font size, and give it a professional color theme. Okay, so it's given me this updated output plot function. Here, we just need to replace that right in here. Copy the code, replace this, Control V, and we'll save that. So let's reload this app, and let's just browse our sales data, grab that. All right, so here's what this looks like now. I've just pasted that in. I've changed up the uh, appearance here and we've got kind of a more professional appearance. Uh, if we do a categories, uh, we can see here, and then the plots look a little bit different. Um, and, uh, and if we browse our, our sales data, we can pull that in, 
get our data preview here real quick and again begin uh, just checking out different categories and, and whatnot whoops uh, value here sales amount data preview sales data sales amount region so I'll have to tell them the faceting column is not up updating faceting column is not updating in the drop down and here it's going to give me a, a new uh, refresh okay so we need the ui uh, facet column so we're going to put that right in here and then down here what we're going to do is we're going to place this little bit of code in here uh, so we'll do put that right in here control save or restart it and now let's see if we get the browse the data and get the sales xls x data preview and these are now updating cool so if i do uh, amount and then by product we now have amount by product so pretty cool um just with you know not a whole lot of time we were able to come up with this new one now um if you're just starting out with uh with with chat gpt and you want to really take your skills to the next level for data science there's a lot more that you can do with it so we just made a shiny app which is great but uh what there's things like machine learning there's things like a data science process and a workflow that you want to be able to take chat gpt through and i'm going to show you how to do that i'm going to teach you how to do that in my upcoming live chat gpt for data scientist workshop it's coming up in just a couple of days so you can register here i've got the link it's also in the video notes so be sure to click on the link and that will allow you to sign up and we can learn a lot more about ChatGPT together in a live forum where you can ask me questions and get answers in real time. So check out the link, click it, uh, and register for my live ChatGPT for Data Scientist Workshop. Uh, it's amazing and you will learn a ton. So uh, until next time, I will see you soon.